The Humanity Launch started two years ago as an instrument of positive cultural change. The goal is to empower people to help lift up their personal and professional community by celebrating and engaging the human in humanity. Kim Bartling and Greg Telcott are the organizers and presenters of the Humanity Launch. They are joining us today to share more about the nonprofit's mission and to give us details on an opportunity for high school students to develop their own life skills by helping them be successful and inclusive. Welcome. Thank you both so much for coming in today. Thanks, thanks for, for having the, us. Yeah, thanks for the invite. So, Kim, this is very interesting, and it just started two years ago. So explain a little bit more about your mission and how you guys do this. Yeah, wow, that, the whole intro is exactly <laughs> it. Um, so primarily, we are um, education and business. Right now, we're in the education part of the year, so everything kind of has a season. Um, so we are, uh, the Humanity Launch, Greg and I go into schools and promote positive culture. Um, with doing interactive retreats with both teachers and students. So, and, and we cover a variety of subjects. Um, we make sure that we are talking to each school or business specifically before we get there. There's a lot of pre-interview that's done prior to us getting there so we know exactly what's going on in that community and what their needs are. And then we come in and so a teacher's reminding them why they went into teaching in the first place, reminding them how important they are. Um, and it's, it's it, a lot of information. We use a lot of Brene Brown, so we talk about courage and vulnerability. And then we do the same things with the students. Um, so there's a shared language. And so with the students, same thing. We travel with the DJ. We're you know kind of cool that way. Um, so we take a, a Steve Style comes with us. And again, it's about building positive culture, one teacher and one student at a time. And it sounds like you do this by making it fun and interactive rather than just having someone stand up and give a big long speech. Yes. It is not like the old school assemblies like uh, that at least I remember. So yes, yes. Yeah. I love that. So Greg, when you and Kim decided to create this, why did you find a need for this? You know, I uh, we've both been in education in South Dakota forever. Uh, and I was a pre uh, principal in my last stage of my career and knew that when I left, I wanted to work with teachers and I wanted to work with kids and, and just really do all of that positive building things. And so Kim stopped into my office one day uh, and asked me what I was going to do after retirement. I kind of explained what it is that I really wanted to do, what my dream would be. And she said, well, let's do that. And so that's how it was formed. And we've been in, I don't know, 40, 50 schools now, worked with teachers and with kids, thousands of teachers, thousands of kids. It's been a, it's been a riot. Wow, right. that's a lot in two years. Yeah, it is. We've been very fortunate. Very fortunate, yeah. yeah. So, Kim, what have you discovered so far with students and staff or any challenges? Probably the number one thing is just to um, reset the way we communicate. Um, we do not have the key to the Rosetta Stone. I mean, this is nothing that is just, you know, has a, a new theory behind it or whatever. It's just how do we see each other and how do we communicate again beyond the um, emojis and, you know, monosyllabic uh, <laughs> texts. And, and, yeah, and how yeah. do we rediscover each other? I mean, we're in, we are in a lot of small schools, and so there's, we just talk about teachers. There are those teachers, if they've been there a lot of times, many, many years, they've taught each other's kids, and they go to church together, their neighbors, and so on. And so they, sometimes we even forget how to recommunicate month to month because we're all evolving. So that's as teachers, so certainly as students too. One of the things we always tell teachers is, you know, fourth grade teacher, don't you dare tell that fifth grade teacher who that kid is before they come. Right. Because that's a lifetime between May and August of who that kid is. And then it's a good reminder for us too that I'm not the same person today, you know, in July 12th, is that what we're at, that we would be, that I was back in, you know, June of last year. So right. we're evolving and how do we, how do we connect on that way? So there's an upcoming opportunity, yeah. the um, Humanity Launch Leadership Academy. So tell me a little bit what's going to be happening. We're inviting uh, 100 seniors from uh, South Dakota, uh, North, uh, Southwest Minnesota, uh, to come to Augustana. It's a free event. We've got some great corporate sponsors. And we're going to spend uh, two days on leadership and service. We're actually going to do a service project. We're bringing all sorts of wonderful speakers in front of them, panels in front of them. They're going to do individual things, group activities. Uh, we're just really excited to help them to expand their leadership and service uh, talents and interests. I am going to interject, though. It is a $50 per student. We had that up on screen, too. <clears throat> yeah, it is $50. And because we want them to have a little skin in the game. Now, it's it's 
it, would, it costs us about $250 per student, so we have lots of corporate sponsorship, but we just want them to have a little skin in the game. If that $50 yeah. is too much, then let us know. Right. And Absolutely. we just had the QR code up, so that will be online awesome. as well to make it Great. easier to get signed up. But we have an exercise now. I want to so do it. this is something people can try. I have no idea what this is going to be, so I'm kind of nervous, it's, but let's and do it. Again, it's, it's simple, right? It's this, we're just going back to basics. So I'm going to ask you, Brittany, tell me your favorite, best Kello story. Like, you have one. What's the one you go to? Ooh, there's a lot of different ones. I think probably, oh my gosh, probably when I first came to be interviewed because it's just something that was so new. Mm -hmm. um, and going through the process of the interviewing, so um, like, do you want me to say specifics for it? Yeah. Like I sat down and I had to do like a mock interview mm -hmm. and coming from news, I did a mock interview with Paul who um, did the hiring and he, kind of gave me fake answers that I thought were real and I actually believed him. But the whole process of that and coming back and getting to see the station was really cool. And where did you come before? I was in Mankato at KYC. You in Mankato. And so you said Paul? Yep. And after the first, what was your first impression of Paul afterwards? I mean, in all the positive ways, give me something about I Paul. I thought he was funny. I thought he was um, really good at explaining and communicating, you know, what the job description was, really friendly. Um, he told me a lot, too, about, like, other things, not just, like, obviously the TV part of it, but what was happening, what they expected of the show, because it was brand new, um, so that I would kind of know what to expect when I got here. So is, does he continue to be a mentor of yours? Yeah, yeah, he's he's our supervisor, so he's around a lot. Um, but we do only have 30 seconds left, so yeah. I, yeah. I want to explain what we were mm -hmm. doing. Yeah, can I quickly, so what happened is, is Kim is keeping all the attention on you. Mm -hmm. We so often hijack conversations, you'll notice that every question was asked to you, every answer you gave, she came back at you with another question. And to show, again, to show people we're interested. She's interested in what in right. you. Not, she's not trying to be interesting and hijacked. And we're trying to teach people how to have a conversation. In a right. world where everything's blasted about us, sometimes we have to put the focus on somebody else. And that's how connections happen. You I can, love it. Yeah. Well, go ahead and try that. Thank you both so much for coming Thanks in and sharing more about this with us. Thank you Thank so you. much. Appreciate it.